hello students i welcome you in today's session of physics and in physics as you know very well we were discussing a topic household circuits clear and uh, we had covered out most of this topics in our previous lecture that is lecture number 1 and now today this is the lecture 2 and uh, we will take about the some essential components of household wiring system clear so in that you will see the here fuse nature and its function fine so first we will discuss about the nature of fuse and its function so we have read that the main fuse is connected in the live wire on the distribution board after the kilowatt hour meter and before the main switch has blow off when the total load in the house exceeds the load limit for which connection is taken from the company so similarly a fuse is a connected with each electrical appliances to safeguard it from the flow of excessive current through it so thus we can write it like an electric fuse is a safety device which is used to limit the current in an electric circuit fine the use of a fuse is to safeguard the circuit and the appliances which are connected in that circuit from being damaged so this is the use of fuse you can write it now here you can see a fuse is a short piece of wire which is made up of material of high resistivity and low melting point this is the important one high resistivity and low melting point so that it may easily melt due to the overheating when the current in excess to the prescribed limit passes through it so generally an alloy of lead and tin is used to material for the fuse wire so this material is used for making the fuse wire now the thickness of the wire is different in different fuses depending on the amount of current which is permitted to flow a copper wire is unsuitable for use as a fuse wire why because copper has low resistivity and a high melting point therefore the use of an ordinary copper wire as a fuse must be avoided clear now here you can see this is the figure of fuse and uh, here it is given the construction fine so i'm not going to uh, teach you about the construction you can read it by yourself and here these are the two functions of the fuse given here fine so you can read it by yourself and if you feel any doubt you can ask me in the comment section <clears throat> now i am taking you know, teaching from here nowadays all the costly appliances such as refrigerator air conditioner geyser television etc for the safety are provided by a manufacturer with a cartridge type fuse of approximate or uh, appropriate current carrying capacity as shown in the figure this is the cartridge type fuse the reason for connecting the fuse in the live wire what is the reason so you can see here the fuse is always connected in the uh, live wire of the circuit so if the fuse is put in the neutral wire and due to the fault when excessive current flows in the circuit the fuse burns so current is stopped flowing in the circuit so but the appliances remain connected to the high potential point of the supply through the live wire now if a person touches the faulty appliances he may get a shock as the person will come in contact with the live wire through the appliances now the current rating of a fuse if we talk about so the electric wiring for a light and a fuse fan circuit uses a thin fuse of low current carrying capacity approximately 5 ampere because the line wire has a current carrying capacity of 5 ampere thicker fuse wires of higher current capacity of 15 approximately ampere are used for large current so consuming appliances such as air conditioners geysers washing machines etc because the line wires for such devices have a current carrying capacity of approximately 15 ampere now the current rating of a fuse in a uh, circuit can be obtained from the following relations so the current rating of the fuse that is the total power of appliances in the circuit divided by the voltage of the supply so the fuse provided with and electric appliances to protect it against electric <coughs> fuse must be of current rating slightly higher than the maximum current that is drawn by that electric appliances but for the electric appliances which has an electric motor in it fuse of current carrying capacity slightly higher than the running current for that appliances should be used so it is because of motor in the appliances draws as much as the current when it is switch on as compared to that when it is running condition so the table below gives the current rating of the fuse needed for the various appliances just see the table this is the table now what is the mcb 
nowadays we are uh, instead of fuse we are using the mcb that is miniature circuit breaker is the full form and are used for each individuals clear this switch off the circuit in a very short time duration that is 25 milliseconds in a case of short circuit or some fault due to the flow of heavy current in the line after repairing the fault in the circuit the mcb is again switch on thus the use of mcb is better than a fuse because it avoid the inconvenience of connecting a new fuse that's why we prefer mcb over fuse now we will discuss about the switches what is switches so a switch is an on off device for current in a circuit or in appliances it is connected to the live wire now switches are of various types and they are made in many fascinating designs we classify the switches in two groups the first one is a single pole switch and the second one is the double pole switch so the main switch <coughs> at the distri uh, distribution board used to switch on or off or the main is the double pole switch so the switch used with an app, uh, appliances to start or stop the flow of current in it so is the single pole switch so a single pole switch disconnects only the live wire while a double pole switch disconnect both the live and the neutral wires so the dual control switches used in staircase etc are also the double pole switches of a special kind now what is the reason for connecting the switch in the live wire so here is the reason the switch should always be connected in the live wire <coughs> here you can see this is the figure given below which is showing the switch this one the live wire and the switch is on position so the appliances get connected to the high potential point through the live wire and current flow in the appliances because the circuit is complete and the neutral wire provide the return path for the current so figure this one in the off position of the switch the current is incomplete and no current reaches the appliances through the live wire so the appliances does not work that is the bulb does not glow it is now safe to carry out repairs in the appliances if the required and in off position of the switch so even the live wire connections of the appliances can be touched because both the wires are neutral wire connected with the appliances are at zero potentials fine on the other hand if switch is connected in the neutral wire as shown in the figure this one then in the on position it allow current to flow in the bulb and the off position like this one figure b1 there is no current passes through the bulb thus the switch serves its purpose but in the off position of the switch the appliances remain connected to the high potential terminal through the live wire so although no current flow through the term appliances because the return path is incomplete or broken so in this condition it is not safe to carry out any repairs in the appliances because on touching the live wire in the appliances the current will pass through the body of the person and he may get a fatal shock clear further due to some fault or any other reason if the live wire touches the metallic body of the appliances then it is not safe to touch the appliances even from outside thus if the switch is connected to the neutral wire it can be quite deceptive and even dangerous for the users now what are the safety precautions so a switch should not be touched with the wet hands if water reaches the live wire it form a conducting layer between the hands and the live wire of the switch so which the current passes to the hand and the person may get fatal shock fine now circuit <coughs> with dual control switches this one that is staircase wiring so we have read that the ordinary switches used in the live wire to switch of the appliances on and off so are of the single pole type switches now dual control switches are the double pole type switches which are generally used at the top and the bottom of the staircase or at the opposite end of the long corridor so with the, such switches the appliances such say as bulb can be switched on and off from the two different places now the working in the circuit of the dual control switches are is shown in the figure this one so let a switch that is s1 be fitted at the bottom and s2 at the top of the staircase now shows the position of the bulb now the bulb can be switch on independently by either switch that is s1 and the switch s2 if the switch s1 is operated the connection ab is changed to bc which completes the circuit and the bulb lighter similarly in operating the switch s2 the connection bc changes to ba which again 
complete the circuit fine similarly if the bulb is in on position as shown in the figure i will show you once can switch off the bulb either from the switch s1 by changing the connection bc to ba or the switch s2 by changing the connection so these are the figures you can easily understood by these figures what i am talking about how the connections are switched on and off clear now in stir case while going up suppose a person puts a light by operating the switch as one to connect the terminal b and c then he can put off the light on reaching the top by the switch s2 to connect the terminal a and b similarly if a person while coming down puts the light by connecting the terminal a and b or switch s2 then he can put on the light in reaching the bottom by connecting the terminal b and c of the switch fine now we will discuss what is the grounding that is earthing local earthing in a house the local earthing is made near the kilowatt hour meters for this purpose a 2 to 3 meter deep hole is dug in the ground and a copper rod of thick copper wire placed inside a hollow insulating pipe it is put in the hole now a thick copper plate of dimension this much is welded to the lower end of the copper rod and it is buried in the ground so the plate is surrounded by the mixture of charcoal and salt to make a good earth connection so to keep the ground damp water is poured through the pipe from the time to time so this forms a conducting layer between the plates and the ground the upper end of the copper rod is joined to the earth connection at the kilowatt hour meter now what are the safety by the local earthing so if due to some reason such as short circuiting an excessive current flow through the lines of the wire it will pass to the earth so through the earth wire if there is a local earthening otherwise it may causes a fire due to overheating of the lines wire now see the b1 that is the earthening of an appliances so for earthening of an electrical appliances such as refrigerator toaster geyser electric iron electric cooler which we handle physically the earth wire that is the green or yellow of the cable is connected to the outer metallic case of the appliances now figure below one shows the switch and the fuse connected to the live wire going from source to the element of the machine while the metallic case of the machine is earth so the symbol earth is used for earthing the appliances so it may be mentioned here that the most often the board metal body part of the appliances is painted the paint provide an insulating layer on the metal body of the appliances to make earth connections therefore it is necessary to remove the paint from the body part where connection is to be made here you can see this is the earthening of the appliances now what is the safety by earthening of an appliances so when the live wire of a faulty appliances come in direct contact with its metallic case due to the breakage of insulation so after contact use the appliances acquires the high potential of the live wire so a person touching it with a fatal shock so before current flows through his body to the earth but if the metallic case of the appliances is properly earth then soon the live wire comes in contact clear <coughs> so these are the some precautions with the metallic case of the appliances immediately a heavy current flow through the case of the appliances to the earth and the fuse connected in the circuit of the appliances to the lines flow so there's a person touching the defective appliances does not get a shock and the appliances is also safe from being damaged so it should be noted that they for this it is essential that the fuse is connected in the live wire only if the fuse is the neutral wire then although the fuse burns due to the flow of heavy current but the appliances remains at the supply voltage so that on touching the appliances current flow through the appliances to the person with the result that the person touching the appliances may get fatal shock clear so now here you can see this is the three pin plug and socket and what are the working i hope you know very well so i tell you in a brief what is the three pin plug all the electric appliances are provided with a cable having a plug at one end connect the appliances of the electric supply so it is fix, uh, fixture provides with a three metallic usually brass the plug inserted into the socket so in the plug the top pin is for earthening and the live pin is of the left and the neutral pin is on the right so this is the figure for three plug pin and this is your socket clear i hope you understood you uh, learn its or uh, read its uh, working of the socket by yourself students and what are the safety precautions so there are the few safety precautions you have to use while using the electricity there are the two major dangers while using electricity that the first one is your fire and the second one is the electric shock 
so i will discuss about the first one a fire is caused due to the overheating of a line wire or cable for various reasons such as breakage of insulation or short circuiting etc so to avoid it one must use wires of current carrying capacity higher than the total current which can flow through the circuit when using all the appliances at the same time now see the second one an electric shock may cause either due to the poor insulation of wires or when the electric appliances are touched with bare hands so to avoid it the insulation of wires must be of good quality and it should be checked from time to time so particularly when they become old so that no wire is left naked so apart from this an electrical appliances such as switch plug socket electric wire etc should never be operated with the wet hands and they should be kept in a dry condition i hope you understood so and this one you read it by yourself students color coding of wires in a cable clear and if you feel any doubt you can ask me in the comment sections thank you class thank you very much